Hey YouTube and welcome back to another video, thanks for joining me. So on today's video we're going to be replanting Bertold's enclosure. This is in preparation for the new arrival, I haven't actually disclosed what it's going to be yet and I'm still going to keep you in suspense. So if this is something that interests you then please stay tuned. Without further ado, let's crack on with today's video. Hey YouTube and welcome back, thanks for joining me. So as I said today we're going to be planting the day enclosure in preparation for my new arrival. If any of you want to guess, hazard a guess on what it's going to be then please comment in the section below. Hopefully you'll hear an improvement in terms of the sound quality of these videos. I am actually using a lapel mic at the moment. Your feedback is appreciated and I did get some comments on some of the sound issues in the last video so I will endeavour to make this a better experience for you and I will turn the sound down on the intro and the outro because I know it deafens some of you. Now today we're going to be just replanting this setup. Um, in an upcoming video I will be adding the electrics and making some alterations, just glue and venting and just preparation for the new arrival. But today's video isn't going to be a lot of me talking. I will throw the names of the plants up. I'll try and film it as best I can even though it's, this tank is suddenly wedged in the corner. But I do hope you enjoy the setup. But I think that's enough from me waffling on. Let's just crack on and get this planted. Okay, so I think the first thing we're going to do is just take a look at the plants that are already in there. These have survived without light for quite some time. So as you can see, they're doing really well. I'm going to probably try and remove some of them and replace some of them. Um, but go ahead and do that now and we'll start replanting.
Okay, so I think that's the planned in for today. So I hope you're happy with how this has turned out. I know I definitely am. It's probably going to make some slight changes. I might add some moss in the tank as well, potentially some leaf litter as well, just to give it a bit more depth, a bit more detail. We've added quite a lot of the plants in, pretty much most of them. I've reused some of the ones that are in there prior to me actually replanting as well. Like I say, I will be adding the names of the plants into this video as well and in the description just so if you want to know what they are or you want to go out and buy them yourself. We keep an eye on this setup now as we go along just to make sure the plants are looking as they should and make sure that we don't need to move any around and they're suitable for the conditions. As always, I don't think any video would be complete without me cleaning some glass in some way or another. So we're just going to give the glass a quick wipe down now, put it back in and we'll take a close look at the tank. Okay, so for those of you that know bioactive setups, to make it bioactive, we need to add the cleanup crew. So I've got some wood lice here and some springtails. So we're just gonna add those in now, allow them a chance to colonize, and that should take care of any of the mess in the tank going forward. Okay, so now we've added the cleanup crew before we add the glass back into the tank. We're just going to give the tank a good spray down and just make sure all the plants are nice and healthy and they've had good watering before we actually leave this alone. So I hope you enjoyed that setup. Um, personally, I think the enclosure looks a lot, lot better. It does look a bit more like a rainforest. We was looking a bit bare prior to us actually making the changes. Now in upcoming videos, I will be adding the electrics and making some adjustments to this enclosure. And I will be adding the new inhabitant as well. So if any of you are excited or want to guess what that is, then please comment in the section below. But I should be getting them in the next couple of days. So I hope you'll stay tuned to that. As always, if you're not yet subscribed, then please, please do and hit that notification bell not to miss any future videos. As always, I am available on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, so I'll put the links down in the description so you can go and follow me there for more regular updates. Now, I may make some slight alterations to this scape. I may add some moss and some leaf litter later down the line, but I don't think it's that urgent at the moment. I'm quite happy with where the plants have gone. I'll keep you updated to see if the plants have worked out and if there's anything we need to change. We'll be trying to get back on schedule and get a weekly video out. There's lots of things I want to update you on. I've moved the room around quite a bit. 
I want to do an update on the Five Belly Toad Paladarium as well as Bert's new setup. I also have a new beta fish and there's a few things I want to do in terms of the racking system I've got for my beta fish and get Gary back up in this room. If any of these things actually interest you, then I really hope that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But I think that's enough from me for today. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and I'll see you next time.